Hi folks, Glyn here, back with a really quick video for you. And this one is in direct response to a question that I got asked at a seminar I was presenting at recently regarding the brush tool. The question was, is there a keyboard shortcut we can use for rotating the brush that we're currently using in Photoshop? Well, at the time of recording this video, unfortunately, the answer to that is no. However, there is an alternative that you might want to have a look at. Now, if you're just using a round brush like the one you can see I'm using on screen now, it's very unlikely you're ever going to want to change the angle of it because you're not really going to notice it. However, if you start using brushes in Photoshop that have actually got some shape to them, like, for example, uh, this one here, brush, one, uh, brush number 112, which is designed to look like a blade of grass, you may find that you do actually want to change the angle of it because no matter which way I paint, that brush, if I zoom in, is always going to be starting at the bottom and it goes up and angles off to the right-hand side at the top, as you can see here. It's never going to go any other kind of angle. The only way I can change it at the moment is clicking on the brush panel and coming in to where it says brush tip shape. And here we have this little disc that we can rotate and you can see in the preview at the bottom how that changes the angle of the brush. And that is the only way we can physically do it at the moment. And that's a way that I tend to use quite a lot. However, there is a workaround, and that workaround is using what they call the Rotate View Tool. Any of you that are seasoned users of Photoshop, you'll be well aware of this. So this is more for those of you who may be new to Photoshop or you just didn't know about it. But the Rotate View Tool, situated over in the toolbar, just underneath the hand tool, and you've got a keyboard shortcut of R for Rotate View. So what you can actually do with this is, you can actually, uh, once you're using it, you can click and drag right or left to change the angle that you want the canvas to be at. This is kind of like a cheap, let's just zoom out just a touch. This is kind of like, um, I guess, a cheap way of having a Wacom Cintiq, which those quite expensive, but brilliant, uh, screens that you actually draw directly on. And you can actually physically rotate those screens to change the angle that you're working at. Here, what we're doing is rotating the canvas like so. Incidentally, when you're using this, if you find you're getting a little bit lost and you, you want it to go back to being normal and straight, just double click on the icon over in the toolbar. So that's one thing you can do, and it's really, really handy. I tend to use this a lot on pictures like this one here, where I've made a selection of this deer. I've cut it out from its original background, which we can see just here. But when I've used things like Select and Mask and Refine Edge, it's not done a brilliant job of picking up the hair. It wasn't an easy picture to use. Now stick around to the end of the video. There's a little thumbnail for you to click on, and it will show you the whole technique that I'm just going to quickly brush on now to show you why I think it's really useful to be able to rotate the canvas. What I'm going to do is I'm going to try and make it look as if we've actually managed to pick up all those fine hairs. And we can use brushes in Photoshop to do that. The first thing I'll do is just choose a normal round brush with 100% hardness. I'm going to have a black foreground color. And I'm actually going to paint away part of the deer stag's uh, kind of hair around his neck around about there. Then I'm going to go back to my brushes, my brush presets, and I'm going to choose a brush built into Photoshop. We'll use that same one I've just talked about a few moments ago, brush 112, which is designed to look like a blade of grass. Uh, blade of grass. But if I click on the brush panel, we can then use the settings in here, as well as rotating the angle of it, we can use the settings in here to make it behave and look more like hair or fur. So I'm just going to bring the size jitter down, we'll bring the angle down as well. So leave it something like that. So now what I'm going to do, I painted away part of the deer in black. I'm now going to paint it back in white, but in the shape of this brush. But now rather than me having to physically come in and keep constantly changing the angle of the brush that I'm using by coming into the brush panel, what I'm going to do is just use the rotate view tool. So let's just decrease the size of the brush a little bit. I'm going to press R on my keyboard to go to the rotate view tool and I'm going to drag left or right to rotate the deer around. Somewhere like that will be good. Get the brush and I'll start painting it back in. Now you'll notice that it's actually starting to make it look as if the hair has actually been selected originally, but it hasn't. I've just done that using this technique, which is on that video at the very, very end. So let's just zoom in a little bit for you. You'll see at the moment that hair is all going in the same direction. So if I wanted to change the angle of it, rather than clicking on the brush panel, I press R on the keyboard to go to the rotate view tool and I can rotate it that way. Let's have a look how that looks just to change it a little bit, just to vary the angle of touch. 
something like that. Let's go to R again and go the other way. Get the brush tool and we can go painting the hair in like this. So this is kind of like an alternative way. There is no keyboard shortcut you can use for rotating the brush, but I think the rotate view tool does a pretty good job. And once you get the hang of it, it's actually a really, really good tool to use for rotating the canvas round like so. Now, like I said, if you want to go back to normal view, just double click on the icon in the toolbar, sets it back to the straight view like that. And you can see just very quickly showing you how you can fake the look of the hair coming in. But stick around to the very, very end where you can get that video to check out this whole technique, which will save you a ton of time when it comes to doing tricky cutouts. So that's the rotate view tool. Let's just go back to this first screen here. A couple of other little things that you can do with your brushes. Let's just get rid of that and put another blank screen. I'll just get a normal round brush. While we're on the subject of brushes, just a couple of things otherwise to show you. Increasing or decreasing the size of the brush, you can use your right bracket key to increase it, left bracket to decrease it. If you wanted to increase the hardness, hold down the shift key and use the right bracket key or go left bracket key to decrease the hardness of it. But that can be quite hard to see. So another way you can do that is hold down the control key or the control the and the alt key or control and option key, then click and drag right or left. And you can visit, actually see now using this red overlay, the brush increasing or decreasing in size. You can also go up or down to increase or decrease the hardness of the brush as well. So that's one way there. We know that B on the keyboard gets us the brush tool, but you can also go into the edit menu, choose keyboard shortcuts, and from in here where it says the shortcuts for menu, if you choose tools and scroll down, you can find the brush tool just here. You can see that it says uh, B for brush, but further on down, we can see all the shortcuts that are built into Photoshop by default for using with brushes. And here are the ones that we can actually set for doing the brush size, the hardness and whatever. And you will see, again, just to confirm, there is no option there for putting in a keyboard shortcut for rotating the brushes that we're currently using. So that's just a little bit of a run through on brushes, very, very quick video, mainly to show you that rotate view tool over the toolbar, keyboard shortcut of R, where you can drag right and left to rotate the canvas as opposed to the brush, reset it back to normal by double clicking the icon. Check out the video at the end and I'll see you next time.